Hi and welcome back to Freedio Hub. Today we are reviewing VMware Workstation 17 Pro which is the latest release from VMware. As you know that the professional version is a paid version and uh, if you want to install VMware as a player you can download it from their website. It's available for free for testing the virtual machines. But today we are going to test VMware Virtual Station uh, 17. Now what's the main reason of installing this one and testing it? I was reviewing it that uh, uh, what's new in version 17 and they are actually mentioning it over here that auto start for uh, virtual machines and then new guest operating system support has been added for windows 11 and windows server 22 uh, further the most important thing over here is this new virtual trusted platform module 2.0 which has been included as part of the version 17 workstation pro now offers virtual trusted platform module 2.0 device to support windows 11 and other operating systems so now it is natively supported on it on version 17 we were doing it in a different way but here it is natively supported and we'll check it now to test it we'll be installing windows 11 which is the release of november 8 2022 and the build is 22621 and 819 uh, there are some known uh, fixes and some enhancements in the operating system so we'll see how it proceeds so let's start with vmware workstation 17 pro and in order to create a virtual machine we'll click on create new virtual machine we'll keep the settings as it is typical we'll press next now it's saying to select the iso file so you can select the iso file wherever you have saved it as you can see, you, we have selected the ISO file and I am installing the business edition of it so that we can activate it using our KMS server and you can see that how can we activate Windows 11 legally by using the KMS keys provided by Microsoft. Now we'll press next. Now we have selected the directory where we want to install Windows uh, uh, 11 actually on our computer. We'll press next and here that's a new screen which wasn't there in version 16. It's actually asking you for the encryption information and you can provide a password that you would like to use in order to encrypt the file. So we'll provide a password over here and uh, as you can see there is an option to remember the password on this machine in credential manager the main reason of having this option is that we want to make sure that our password is saved in the credential manager so that once our windows 11 would boot up after the installation is complete it won't prompt us for the password for tpm uh, otherwise you can uncheck it and once the machine would load it would prompt you to enter the password we'll press next and then it's asking you to have at least 64 GB of space. So uh, we'll keep it as it is. You can choose if you want to split the files or store them as a single file. I'll go with the default settings and press finish. As you can see, a virtual machine has been created. If you want to make some changes over here, you can click on edit virtual machine settings. And you can adjust the RAM that you would like to allocate for this virtual machine. So I'm going to allocate around about 8 gigs of RAM to my virtual machine. It really depends uh, uh, the available RAM on your computer so you can decide it accordingly. Once that's done, I'll click on this power on this virtual machine button to start my virtual machine. Now uh, press any key to start the installation of Windows and we'll continue with the installation process.
As you can see, Windows 11 has been installed and uh, it's the latest version of Windows 11. In order to check it, we'll go to settings and then we'll go to system and we'll click about. And here you can see that it's Windows 11 Pro 22H2 and the latest version 22621.819. Now, as you can see, this is the uh, addition in the taskbar that now we can see the uh, search button appearing in the taskbar. Uh, there were some issues with Windows 11 earlier in the search, so that has been fixed in this one. And then you have the uh, taskbar settings and rest of the options. Now you can check that uh, uh, we have not activated the Windows so far. Uh, it's saying Windows isn't activated. So in order to activate it, we'll use Windows KMS client keys. For that, you'll go to Google and type in Windows 11 KMS client key. Now make sure that you have a KMS set up in your organization a server which activates windows and it would show you some links over here you'll have to click on the first link and it would take you to this page which is saying uh, key management service kms client activation product keys now we'll scroll down till we'll find this windows 11 and windows 10 semi annual channel versions and you can copy the key now uh, once we'll copy the key you can see that it's the same key for windows 11 pro and windows 10. so once the key is copied from here we'll click on activate now and we'll change the product key and it's saying that it would activate windows using your organization's activation service click activate and as you can see, Windows has been successfully activated by using the KMS key provided by Microsoft. And now you can make the necessary changes on your computer. So that's how we uh, set up Windows 11, uh, the latest version of it in uh, VMware Workstation 17. And as you can see, it is working perfectly fine without using any of the tricks. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.